Week 8 pick up. YouTube Oz it going the goat house is back with week 8 pick ups picking every single game every single week. It's been a good time, and we're halfway through the year. Well, actually, less than half because we got playoffs. You guys know the drill. We got we got loads of content. Listen Whoa. to the bottom left. Always adding more power rankings. We're adding the trade deadline videos. We got a bunch of those up. More to come. Mm. It's next. It's a week from today. So next Tuesday we'll have trade deadline stuff, and we'll have pickums. Oh my God, what a time to be alive! Hopefully you can <laughs> join us. Follow us on Twitter. A lot going on there. Sponsors: Liquid IV, GLD Shop, Vikings Chain from the GLD Shop. They have more NFL teams. All NFL teams giveaway you'll get a chain and an NFL pendant links pin the comments for anything you're looking for let's the take a look are back. At, the Vikings are back let's take a look at the standings uh, I shit the bed last week let's just be clear here we've been doing this for quite some time and that was my worst week ever we're gonna forget about it we're gonna move on flush it flush it down the toilet Pete regained the lead I got it back last week then Pete's back you know I just oh man Rough one. We're all pretty close. Liking, liking how that looks, though. Uh, Tumblr Dodge or Doggy. We were calling him Doggy last year. He's in first in the Super Picks League with 70. Two Larry Heggs in second. AR Packers in third. The regular Picks League, there's a, a lot of guys tied, but the top was Scoot Dude. So the top Scoot. top three from the Super Picks League get <laughs> prizes at the end of the year. The winner of each week's get each week gets their picks in the next video. So this week, Chase Guido will be nice. in. Uh, yeah, he's uh, his picks nice. in this video. Uh, regular picks league, the winner at the, the first place guy at the end of the year gets the prize. But that's how it works. Anything I just rattle off in the last minute, links pinned in the comments for that. Let's go on to the picks. Buccaneers mm. at Bills on Thursday night football. I'm going to go ahead and lock this in as my Bills Bounce back game of the week. That's a thing now? That's a thing, Bill. I'm locking it in. Bill's bounce back game of the week. Both these teams struggling right now, looking a little sus lately. Both teams a little sus. I don't know which one's more sus than the other recently. They're both in the ballpark. I think we're all taking the Bills. Yeah? I believe so. There's, yeah. yeah, okay. I'm, I'm also liking it as my Bills bounce back game of the week. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Um, yeah, f feeling confident they have a bounce back game of the week, that they they play pretty well in this one. Could get a – I don't know if I would go as far as ass beating of the week. Whoa. Just, just Bills bounce back game of the week. But I think they'll I, I think they'll have a – Isn't Baker hurt? Yeah, it's just more of a rest thing it sounds like. Um I think Bills will have a good outing here. I think they'll have a good outing. The Bucks do have a tough defense, but the Falcons were able to move the ball against them. They, you know, Ritter would just fumble here and there. Um, kind of kept the Bucks in the game. They still couldn't pull it off. I'm just waiting. You know, everyone's kind of down on the Bills right now, waiting for them. I'm going to wait for them to break out. I think it could be this week. The Bucks, people are down on them right now too, but this is kind of who they are supposed to be. You know, the pretty good defense, just not enough on offense. This kind of makes sense now. For the Bills, it doesn't really make sense. They're due for a bounce-back game Thursday in Buffalo. Why not? Why not them? That's true. Yeller, well, who's he going with? He's got the Bills. What about Chase Guido, the Week he's, 7 winner? He's got the Bills. Can we say, you know, to win Week 7, that's pretty impressive because I don't know what the hell happened in Week 7. Mm -hmm. So he did a hell of a job out there. It was a weird week, though. I don't know. But uh, he's got a little Cam Newton icon there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Maybe a Panthers guy. Um, or maybe just a Cam Newton guy. That's a good point. Yeah, we don't know. All right. So there it is for the Bills bounce back game of the week. I locked it in already. It's already done. You can't use that. I can't use that one again. Till next week. Rams, Cowboys. I'm locking this in as my Cowboys breakout game of the week. That's what I'm going to lock it in as the Cowboys. Yeah, a bunch of Bunch of special things this week. Uh, we're only on game two. Just wait what I got. I don't even know. I'm coming up with these in the top of my head, to be honest. But I think the Cowboys, they've been a little underwhelming. Good football team, but kind of a you know a little underwhelming this year. Kind of waiting for them to look better. I think this is the game. The Rams are actually a team that are that is better than their record. They probably should have more wins. They kind of choked that Steelers game last week. They Maybe they got shafted by the refs at the end there because I don't think Kenny Pickett – I know Kenny Pickett didn't get that first down, but they were like – just move on, get out of here, you know, everyone go home. Uh, but I love the matchup for the Cowboys. And the Rams are a sneaky team. They should be able to air out the ball. Again, no Trayvon Diggs the rest of the year. So they, they they could they could push it downfield. But the Cowboys still have a very good defense. The Rams, where they struggle is when Stafford is under pressure. 
uh, and he makes mistakes. The Cowboys pass rush, one of the best in football. They will get after Stafford. I think the way to beat the Cowboys defense is run the ball to open up everything, to open up the pass. I think you can run on them fairly decent, but the Rams, they're a pass-first team, and on top of that, Kyron Williams is out, so I don't think they're much of a threat in terms of the run game. Uh, and I, I think the Cowboys will do enough on offense as well. So I, I like this as a as a breakout game for the Cowboys here. Good matchup against a pretty decent team. Feeling it for the boys. Pete, you or me? I'll go. I'm going to, you know, I like a good old Puka Cup, but I'm going to go with uh, the Cowboys here. Uh, okay. Coming off the bye week at home. Should be should be favorable. So you like Puka and you like Cup. Yeah. So Puka Cup. Puka Cup. Okay, got it. I got an upset alert this week. He's I think got I'm an upset. The Rams. Oh God, he's taking the, taking Rams. the Rams. He's he's taking them. That's not oh. a bad pick. They've been playing some decent ball. I mean, yeah. I Cowboys to me. I don't know. They uh, think they're saucy. So not they're not quite on that level. I think they're they're like on the bill. Kind of how the Bills are like a good team that's just kind of going through a uh, a moment. But I do think they ultimately will come out. One of the better teams, but the Rams are like they're playing well. They're just not really playing. They're not winning games, but they're playing well. More momentum. I'm a uh, full uh, momentum guy. Funny. I think you're locked into my I'm, chair. Are we locked in? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. okay. We're, we'll, uh, we're. Feels funny. I did already lock it in. I it, locked it in too. As yeah, my Cowboys breakout game of the week or the year, the week, week. Yeah, because we could use them. Every yeah, okay. Week. Uh, so you get a lone wolf it over there. So Yeller's got Cowboys. Mm-hmm. And Guido, Chase Guido, the guy, he's got he's got the boys as well. Guido, the guy. Uh, so there you go, Junior, Lone Junior. Sorry. Sorry? What, do you, what are you sorry do about? I'm okay. just sorry because it's now that I don't feel great about it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, we got the Vikings and we got the Packers. I'm going to lock this in as the Vikings are going straight to the Super Bowl and winning game of the week. I'm kidding. Uh, very impressed with the Monday night performance they Everyone almost I t- lost. What? They, almost, they, they lost. almost lost. They outplayed the Niners completely, and they almost lost. That's kind of a Vikings thing. But they played the Niners. They didn't play the Packers. But the total Vikings moved just to lose this game and oh, just yeah. not look nearly as good. And every, I got so many people telling me, like, all right, the Vikings look good last night. You see their schedule. It's getting easier. They're going to start winning. I'm like, eh, not so fast. But they got to win this game. Um, I'm going to lock this in as a, cl- a one-score Vikings win. That, that's, that's a pretty easy take. That's really not bold. It's going to be a one-score win. Uh, this could be a little tricky, though, because the Packers are very much sus right now uh, because love kind of stinks. Yeah, yeah. Right oh, now. And, uh, yeah. Well, I said kind of stink, so that it kind of threw you off. Pete was on top of it, though. So, uh, credit <laughs> to him. He's on top of it right now. But, uh, yeah, he stinks when their defense yeah, isn't too yeah. – he, he's, uh, well, I said he stinks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, their defense is a little stinky right now. and But I think it's because the run no. – de- he didn't want to go there. He'd not go for the defense. No, not defense, for the defense. No. <laughs> but it's he because stinky. he said stinky. It's because the run defense and the Vikings are terrible running the football, so they're going to have to run the football in this game. I still think the Packers' pass defense is pretty good, so I don't know if the Vikings do a whole lot. I, I bet their offense doesn't look nearly as good in this game as it did against the Niners. Just got a feeling, but the Vikings' defense is playing pretty well right now. Brian Flores has got those guys playing because. He's a, he's a genius, really. I, just, I can't tell what coverage they're at half the time. I'm usually pretty damn good at that. And they're blitzing, and they got these trap zone coverages, these I don't even know, and it's it's throwing guys like Brock Purdy off. I know Brock Purdy's young, but Jordan Love, I think, is going to have his hands full with that blitz and some of these coverages. So I like the Vikings' defense, actually, in this one. Uh, but they're going to have to open up the run a little bit more. I would like for them to use Akers more. He just looks plain and simple better than Madison. But I, and Ty Chandler might look better than Madison as well. But I'll take the Vikings, but could totally see them just blowing it after the, everyone thinks they're kind of good right now. So we'll see. Um, I'm with you here on the whole one score thing, but I'm going to go a step further and say that the Vikings end up marching down for either a game-winning field goal or a game-winning uh, touchdown drive. I think it's going to be that close. Uh, like you said, this this scares me uh, coming off a win like that. Some yeah, people are starting to hype them up a little yeah, bit. Right. Yeah, right. That's the last thing they need. They need to be that underdog team that just keeps winning ball games. Like last year, they weren't talked about as they were just like winning football games. It's just – this is bad. They they don't want to be talked about here. This is I don't know. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> We're Thank all you. going with the Vikings. Here. Everyone Vikings. Yeah, Pete, Pete's got the Vikings. Buying into the hype here. 
Well, I don't know about Packers necessarily that. Are, They're just going to beat the Packers. Packers been pretty bad, though. I mean, they lost to the Broncos. I mean, come on. Come on now. It, w- it was in Denver in the, the altitude. altitude. Yeah, the, I mean, that was Broncos, the altitude play Broncos factor. First, first win in the altitude. Huge. So, Yeller Vikings and Can't Guido the guy. Chase Guido goes with the Vikings, so that's a guarantee. Lock it in. Do not even watch the game. Watch a different one. You're watching this game. Pick a different one. I'm watching every game, okay? I'm watching. Do you have this, this one, one on its own screen while you got everything else? On I got it? a game there. I got a game there. I got a game there. I got one right there and then right over there, too. Wait, how do you actually watch the games? No, you're watching. What? The... Wait for him to turn it. Turn what? This game. This oh. Game. oh, look at that. <laughs> I didn't get what so you were good. doing. Falcons at the Oilers. The Oilers. Ooh. Titans, the Tennessee Titans, they are, they are wearing the throwbacks. Those throwbacks, are they're sexy. They're looking Ooh. sexy. But the Titans just traded Kevin Byard, one of their best players in the last several years, to the Eagles. I think we heard that one before. We, you know, I think Byard's going to play one more time. For Is that how it works? He gets to play one more time. in the. He got to show he off did, the Oilers jerseys. He did get to show off the Oilers jerseys. And he can't even wear them. Can't wear them. Uh, and uh, they're playing Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith versus old team here, head coach of the Falcons. And John sh- Smith. And-, and we don't know who – yeah, and John U. Smith playing his old team. And they're brothers, right, Arthur Smith? Brothers. Or is his dad? Is Arthur so. Smith his yeah, dad? I'm pretty so. sure. We're going to have to check that. Somebody's going to have to – the graphics guy get on that. Uh, but – yeah, I'm gonna lock the. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this in as. Oh god, I don't know. I was gonna come up with something on the spot. This is a beatdown. I think it's gonna be a beatdown. Even the Falcons are gonna whoop their ass. Uh, other way around. He's gonna. He's the Oilers are gonna oh, whoop. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're home, and the Titans are a different team at home. We know this. They're wearing those sexy. And jerseys. they're wearing the jersey. That's a two for one special wow. right there. And. What. And Will Levis is going to suit up. and We don't know who's do. playing, though. They're talking about like playing both. I don't think they're actually going to do that. I think it's I just kind of keep the competition just, open right now. Real was just messing with them. I think Levis is going to be the guy. He's got to be the guy. Ritter stinks. Ritter does yeah, stink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we said, uh, Titans off the bye week. Vrabel usually off the bye week is very good. Uh, Titans at home are, have been pretty good, even though they trade away Bayard. Still like him at home here against the Falcons. Okay, Pete, he's taking the he's taking the Titans. He's doing it. He's taking uh, the Oilers. He's taking the Oilers. Uh, yeah, the Titans are. We we've kind of learned that they're a much different team at home. They are away. They're undefeated at home, but it feels like it's been a little bit since they've been at home. And now Tan Hill's out. Now they don't have Bayard. That's not ideal, obviously. Uh, the Falcons are, seem like they're like every other right now, and they won last week, so that's not a great sign. Uh, but. Every game feels the same. Defense plays great. Offense can move the ball a little bit, but then Ritter just tries to blow it, and it just depends on which teams can capitalize on it and which teams can't. I think in a close game in Tennessee, I think the Titans figure out a way to capitalize on those turnovers. And I also look at the Falcons. They're, they're, what they do best is run the football. The Titans stop the run at a high level. It's going to be a low-scoring game. I like the Titans' defense, even without Kevin Byard. I think Derrick Henry does a little something extra, as long as they don't trade him uh, before this this week. I don't think they're going to trade him at all, but let the record show. But um, you never know with those Titans. What if Willis is playing, though? Uh, if, if they announce I'm that, my pick. Yeah, if they announce that Malik Willis is starting and playing the whole game, I'm going to change it because that guy just takes sacks and he just doesn't want to let the ball go downfield. So uh, we're going to switch to the Falcons. But it's pretty crazy though, that we're like relying on a – Rookie quarterback that also has been like a little injured, I guess. I guess and likes Mayo. He likes Mayo and um, hasn't played yet, and he didn't have the best season last year uh, for Kentucky. So that it's a little weird, but I think that this game's going to be one of the trenches uh, with defense and Derrick Henry in the Oilers jerseys. I mean, come on. Can you guys let me know if Levis is starting? Because I'm not in Titans Twitter. You know I'll I mean? let you know. Uh, I'll let you know. Let Junior know in the comments. I'm going to lock this, no, no, no. Lock this in is my why, why Oilers win of the week. The Oilers win of the week. Locked it in. Uh, Did you see that? Oh, I sent that those. Taylor Luan was uh, yeah, he looks like the boys. He looks like a skateboarder. Yeah. He's skinny. Lost a lot of weight. He was saying that. He's ninety percent sure that he's like breaking news that Will Levis is starting. Ninety percent. Ninety percent sure though. Okay. So he got my sources. He's like the reliable, not the most reliable, but the reliable. I think he's Rable? obviously. No, I think he's obviously got friends, former teammates on the team still that are They're like, hey, telling him how practice is going. What if Levis was just the next coming of Jesus Christ? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? What? 
Could I just you think imagine? Jesus didn't play football. I just think we're we're talking about putting our trust in a rookie quarterback. I think he's just better than Willis, though. Yeah, play a he tough played, defense. He played a pro style offense. In Jesse college. Bates out there. Titans have had some bad uh, moments yeah. with Jesse Bates. He's gonna make mistakes. I'm not saying he's gonna be just great, but you I think said he's gonna be the next coming be better of Jesus than Christ. Willis. I heard you said it. Say it. Uh, Yeller's got the Titans. He's a huge Titans guy. Did he have a take on that one? No, oh, he does. Let's hear it. <laughs> you could say it. Fuck the Falcons. I'm that's what, that's what oh, Yeller said. Yeah. I think he's just upset because every time he picks against them, they win. Every time he picks them, they lose. I think it's been a thing for, like, years for a lot of people, really. Guido's got you guys, though. He's got the Falcons here. He's by himself. They're favored, so we're maybe a little bold with that and going with a Levis Willis Malik Levis and Will. No, I'm only Willis. Levis. I'm only Levis. If, no. If yeah, but I'm just saying we're bold. That you know we don't really know yet, and it's a, it could be a mixture. What if it's a mixture of the both? And I'd they still s- take them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I think so too. I don't think the quarterback. The, both quarterbacks are gonna suck in this game. All quarterbacks. We'll say all quarterbacks are gonna suck in this game. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't know about Levis. The jury's still out. There nobody's gonna. No quarterbacks gonna play good in this game. We'll oh, say well, that. maybe. There's no tape out. Maybe the only person with potential to play quarterback wise. All right, play no good quarterbacks gonna play great. I can guarantee that. Uh, okay. And, but it's gonna be one with defense and in the trenches. I'm gonna trust Derrick Henry. Bijan might get a little bit of a headache. He might have to come out. I don't know what the situation is there. Is that uh, why they pulled him? Well, they just didn't even play him because he was feeling a little under weather. So I don't know. And they're kind of under investigation for that because you're supposed to let everyone know. I don't. Yeah. Especially if you haven't been fantasy football. That's most important. <laughs> just start him for nothing. Okay, Saints Ooh. and Colts. I'm going to lock pick. this in as my squeaker of the week. I'm also going to lock this in as the toughest game to pick of the week. So that's why it's your squeaker. Of the Maybe week. of the year. Uh, I've been back and forth. That's all I've been thinking about all day is Saints and Colts. All day, back and forth. Finkel Saints and, Einhorn, and Colts. Einhorn, Einhorn and Finkel. Finkel. Who is going to win? I don't know. The Saints are supposed to be the better team. You look at these two teams on paper, it's really not even close. The Saints are better. I love their defense. I love their secondary. Still love those things. At the end of the last game against the Jags, pretty good team. The Saints kind of clicked a little bit. They had a lack of chemistry, but there was, there was some chemistry. They clicked. They came back. They looked pretty decent. So it's like it makes it tougher to pick. Did the Saints figure something out going forward? Is Olave going to uh, is gonna be out of jail by game time? Uh, it, it, uh, you know, it is. I think he's out now, but he got arrested for reckless driving. And he mm-hmm. told the, the – I was supposed to say officially told the cop uh, that he plays for the Saints, and the cop goes, and? <laughs> Trying to get out of it. Yeah, I play for the Saints. You're like, and? and the cop should have been, you guys suck. Like, you guys can't even score. Uh, <laughs> should have. Wow. But – yeah, the Saints, it felt like something clicked at the end of the last game. I think they're better than the Colts on paper. But then who's been playing better, though? You can argue the Colts. Uh, they score a ton of points on the good Browns defense. I think they got a two-headed monster at the running back position. Jonathan Taylor we already knew was great. Zach Moss looks really good. He's got some nasty cuts. Shane Steichen is a fantastic hire. He's got a good system. He's got a good game plan. Tough to stop. It's a, it's different. It's unique. You know, coming from the Eagles, some RPO in there. It's always difficult for some teams to stop. Uh, defense really looked stinky last week. They don't have Grover Stewart, obviously still suspended. Could Kamara have a day in this game? It's it's so hard to pick. It's it's just so difficult to pick. I, I, the Saints are supposed to be the better team. I just really don't think they have been the better team. The Colts are better. I, I think oh, they got Gardner Minshew at quarterback. Can you pick Gardner Minshew to beat the Saints secondary? I don't know. I'm going to freaking take the Colts. Uh, they've been better than the Saints. I guess it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be better this game. They're at home. Usually when it's this close, I go with the home team, but then you look at it, the Colts actually have not. They've been better away than at home, so I don't know if there's that much logic. I don't know if there's much logic behind this either, what I'm about to say, but the Saints look like they clicked at the end of that last game, so they kind of sucker you in like, oh, it's going to work now. They're going to get going. That's kind of what the NFL does to you, and it's like, nope, they're probably going to go back to normal. Will Olave play? They're gonna, you know, what I do know is, is Carr's gonna check it down to Kamara about ten thousand and seven times, uh, you know, and that's just not gonna be enough. I think the Col and the Saints defense is good, but the Colts got a different type of offense, tough to game plan for. I didn't get the running back duo going. Give me the Saints. All right, okay, you're, right. you're done. Yeah, I'm you're done. done yeah. I'm just trying You've to. Gone over your limits here. All right. Give I'm the taking Saints. the Saints. As I'm well. still just, like, I'm still debating in my. I head. just think I don't know. I think the Browns kind of. 
slept on the Colts a little bit in their offense. Like I think it's I think Shane Steichen's doing a really good job. Um I think you could run the ball on the Browns. I think that's like kind of like their defense is really good, but I think you could run it a little bit. I think that's what the Colts kind of figured out, and then it kind of played to their advantage, opened up the pass a little bit. Um, I think the Saints defense just makes it tough on Minshew here, and uh, the Colts defense has not been playing too great. I mean, let the Browns and P.J. Walker put up how many points? Was it 30, 39? Or was it yep. 40s? We're in the 40s. No, we're in the th- high 30s. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Saints here. I think we're overthinking it. I think if you think about it too long, I think I, you could convince me to take the Colts here, but Saints should win this ball game as well. Well, the way I think about it, the Colts have scored twenty plus points in every game. First off, the Saints are the Saints struggle to do that no matter who they play. Um, but the way I think about it, I don't know what I was going to say honestly. Uh, I, the Colts running backs will do some damage, and this game will stay close. Uh, you know. Can I trust the Saints to outscore the Colts when they're both teams? Will they'll probably both get hit twenty, maybe just get above twenty. Like, do I trust the Saints to win a game like that? It's it's a little tough. It's a little tough, but I guess they've been scoring more points. They were at home in prime time the last game. I don't want again. I don't want to get suckered in. I don't want to get you know base things off. You know, they played one of the best teams of football last week. They outplayed them in the second half. They scored a lot of points. It looked like something clicked. I don't know, but the Colts defense could definitely blow it in this game. Grover Stewart out, you know, Kamara could run all over the place. But I think the Colts running back. The Saints def- run defense is good, but I think this is just different. The game plan for this this duo, um, I think they they're going to run all over this place, run over this place, run over the place, and control the clock. That's kind of my over thing. This place. Who's Yeller got? He's got the Colts. He's got Minshew and the boys. And Guido's got the Saints. Guido's got the Saints. So a three v two split squeaker game of the week. Lock it in. Don't watch any other game. Just watch this one uh, because it's that good, ladies and gentlemen. Derek Carr, check down King versus Gardner Minshew in the boys. Don't watch this one. Ooh, I'm going to lock this in. I'm going to lock this in as my everyone, you know, thinking maybe the Patriots figured it out, but the Dolphins are still going to beat their ass of the week. Uh, retro logo. They got. They're wearing the retro. They're wearing the throwbacks. We had the Oilers and we had the Dolphins, and we got two more coming, folks. Oh. Got two more coming. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Dolphins. Plain simple. They look like the best team in football when they play bad football teams. It's what they do. It's what they can do. You know, maybe they can't play good teams. That will. They'll have to prove us otherwise. But they can beat the bad teams. The Patriots are still a bad team. The Dolphins win easy. All right, I'm in. You got I'm me. In. I got you. Yeah, yeah we're all you in. Got me. Yeah. Say no more. They could. They beat up the bad teams. What they do? It. Uh, they probably have a lot of fun doing it too. Uh, okay. They look like they're having. Fun. We're all in. Everyone. Yeller. Guido. Everyone. He, the he guy. Said all, he said all in. All in. All right. Wait. Looks like Panthers. Panthers over Patriots. There we go. There's the Dolphin. I don't want to confuse people out there. We're not on the Panthers yet. Uh, okay. Everyone for the Finns. So the Patriots don't catch fire, but they, you know, maybe they did figure a little something out. But it was a tough one, tough one against the Dolphins. What do we got next? Oh shit, Jets, Giants. This is a just, just pure defensive game in New York. Both the home team. Now the Giants are the home team, but they're both the home team. Uh, the Giants been playing a little better recently. It's mainly because of defense. The Jets. Uh, same thing, same thing. They beat the Eagles the last time we saw them. So, uh, yeah, you can count on this to be a low-scoring game, and maybe some deep. Maybe the defense scores. Maybe it makes it a little higher scoring than you expect it. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with the Giants' defense lately. Really improved since the beginning of the year. But I, the Jets' defense has looked good against the best in like some of the best in football. I don't trust either offense. I like the Jets' defense more. So I am gonna lock this in as my uh, low slowest scoring game of the week and I'm going to go with the Jets defense in this one. I'm taking the Giants. Junior's taking the, taking the Giants. I think that I do regret not pick I basically explained why they were going to win last week and I didn't pick them and they won. You like to do that. I I kind of oh, oh for whatever on that one. I just think Zach Wilson's going to turn it over multiple times. I th- well, who's going to play quarterback here? Tyrod Taylor, or Daniel Jones. If Daniel Jones plays, I think he turns it over several times. If Tyrod Taylor ter- plays, I think he turns it over maybe once, maybe twice. I I think Daniel. Jo- if it's Daniel Jones, I'm for sure locking this in with the Giants. Okay, 
That's what I would say. He likes to throw the other team sometimes. Uh, a lot of times, not sometimes. Yeah. What's That's Pete doing? What's oh, he no, locking this? Something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Jets too. I think just the extra. They they had the bye week as well. I think getting Zach Wilson another week to to prepare for this one. I think uh, coming off a big win that like the Jets did. I think they'll just kind of get some some games rolling here, especially if the schedule gets easier uh, going forward. I just can't trust the Giants yet. I don't know. What about Yeller? He's got the Jets, and so does Guido. I don't like this. I don't know. I just can't trust the Giants yet. Can't do it. We'll see how they do. So, Lone Jr. on the Giants. That's right. Uh, did Yeller have the squeaker of the week? Squeaker of the week. And he squeaker had lowest total lowest as well. Lowest total. I think it's pretty. I mean, the Titans-Falcons could uh, contend for the lowest total. The could Cubs got put up 30. Yeah. Next time you get Jesus. Haven't scored 30 in like 25 games. All right. So, we'll see if Junior gets another Lone Jr. pick this week. We will see. Had a couple. Of oh, games. next up. What am I locking this? I'm locking this in as um, uh, the Jags are due for a loss of the week. Does that make any sense? They're due for a loss. They're, no one is staying consistent. They're staying consistent. They won four straight. So this is kind of an NFL thing. The Steelers squeak this one off because it's what they do. But I still can't. Pick them. I gotta pick the Jags still because they're just the better team. I think they'll, you know, the Steelers win with pass rush, and I'm sure they'll get after Lawrence, but I don't think they're gonna get after him enough. I think the Jags' offense lines uh, playing all right right now. Uh, I think ETN's a big problem for the Steelers in this game, uh, mainly on the ground, but through the air as well. Uh, I think you know Kevin Ridley's been a little quiet recently, and Kirk's Christian Kirk's been. Uh, picking it up I think we'll see and very well Christian Kirk could be a better but I think in this game I think we'll see more of a Ridley game than a Kirk game more Ridley uh, so watch out for that and yeah Jags and I think it'll be a closer game but the Steelers like they find ways to squeak by like TJ Watt pretty much has to make a ridiculous play for them to win but he seems to do that almost every single week I'm gonna say maybe not in this one and the Jags get by, but maybe something clicked for the Steelers offense in that second half as well. Jags are due for a loss. They're just better. They're they're just they're just better than the Steelers. But it is in Pittsburgh. I was gonna take Pittsburgh. the Jags up until you I think you're doing this thing again where you're explaining why the Steelers are gonna win, but you're taking Yeah, but the Jags. I, all the other ones it was like kind of matchup reasons. This one was like only because I can see that it could be just because the Jags are due for a loss. I don't know if there's really a whole lot of logic behind that. You gotta respect being due for a loss. All right, though. so you're going Steelers? I I want Pete to go first. I'm taking the Jags. I took the Steelers last week. They pulled it off. I don't think they upset another team. Uh, this week, so going with the Jags. I think I, I got to take the Jags. I don't, it's too risky. You're both out. It's too risky. It's too risky. I already have two lone dog picks. I'm in last place. Come on, guys. Come <laughs> on, guys. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Come on. Everyone's on the Jags. Yellers, Yellers got the Jags. Guido's got the Jags. So I, I thought maybe it could be interesting, but it turns out I guess not. The, the don't, don't even watch it. I guess I. Could be I, a good. I think it's to be a good one here. It should be close. All right, the Eagles and Commanders. I'm going to lock this in as the Commanders play the Eagles very, very well every time they play them, but they're still going to lose lock of the week. I'll take the Eagles. Uh, but the Commanders are very confusing. They seem like every other right now. They did have a losing streak, but it's, you know, they beat the Falcons and they lose to the Giants, and this is a better matchup. I, I do think you can throw the ball downfield on the Eagles, but they got Kevin Byer now. I don't know if he'll play this week, but they already traded for him, you know, yesterday. So uh, that is, it's a huge addition, especially for like a game like this. Um, but I think the Commanders might be able to get the ball downfield a little bit, but it probably won't be enough. Uh, Eagles offense is clicking. Well, two weeks ago they turned it over a bit, but there was the Jets defense. This isn't this isn't the Jets defense. So uh, the, the I could see the upset just because the commanders seem to get one on the Eagles, and they usually play them tough. They probably should have won the last one. That was their chance, though. They had to win that last one because they're not going to win this one. Give me the Eagles. Lock it in. Uh, lock of the week. Taking Give me the Eagles. Eagles. Lock of the week. I think we're it's all not, taking the Eagles. Everyone's right. taking the Eagles. Can't I thought trust, I, Can't trust the commanders. I thought somebody might do it. Can't trust them. Now, what I think is weird is they look like they're lacking talent, but they're really not on paper. Yeah. I think it's a little bit of quarterback play. 
coaching perhaps, offensive line, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but maybe they get the upset here when you least expect it. I think some people might be expecting it just because it's Commanders Eagles, so we'll see. But every I thought somebody might do it, but everyone went for the Eagles. Okay, what are we locking in next? I've locked in something for every game. A lot of it's been just pure gibberish, but Texans and Panthers. The Panthers don't have a win yet, folks, but uh, they're off a bye. They're feeling frisky. The Texans are off the bye. I'm going to lock this in as the top rookie quarterback duel uh, – of the week and the better one wins cj stroud and the texans take it uh which i actually think this game could be a little little sneaky i think it could be close uh bryce young picked it up the last time we saw him that he's really getting you know getting going thielen's been getting going i i think this i think stroud and the texans have a good day on offense and i do like their defense too so i'm sorry i just think they win the matchup on both sides even though i think the panthers could improve as the year goes on Texans are playing some good football this year. I like them on both sides of the ball here. I think they'll get pressure on Bryce Young. I think. I think. Uh, and Damian Pierce has been. He's been solid, but maybe he hasn't really had that complete breakout game yet. This could be one. This could be one here. So I like the Houston Texans. Taking the Texans as well here. Uh, I don't know. I can't trust the Panthers for nothing. The Panthers. Yeah. yeah. You can't do the Panthers. No. Yeller can't this do the, the Panthers. Tank. No, can't. This is the tank for Tua. Game. That's what you should have said. The tank for two again? Yeah. Panthers were take it, even though it's not their pick. Uh, the things you love to see. We're oh, Guido's got the Panthers here. He's got the Panthers. I wonder why. I wonder so that answered that in the beginning of the show. I said, is he a Cam Newton fan or is he a Panthers fan? Uh maybe he's not. Maybe he, I'm thinking he is. I'm he's prob probably is. Probably Probably. Is. I could see it. The the line on this game is pretty low, like surprisingly, like close. So maybe Vegas knows something here. Uh, that we don't, we will see. They always do. They always they're up to we'll something. See, they're we'll they're see. in, they're in cahoots with the refs. It feels like cahoots is cahoots. That's right. You use that right. I used it right. Cahoots. I don't, I don't think I've ever said that. They're in cahoots with the refs. The refs been sus lately. Let me tell you, last couple of weeks they've been fucking sus. It's been a little. It's been a little sus, let me tell you. All right, put uh, your helmet back on. Put my helmet back on? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Throw. Oh, my God. This was a tough one to pick, but now it's not anymore. Yeah, gotta, Give me the Seahawks. Mine, yeah. Give switching me the mine. Seahawks. You're switching your pick. Yeah, I'm switching my pick. <laughs> you were going Browns? I literally just switched it right now. Look yeah. at, I mean, just look at that. I mean, the two best throwbacks in football are hap- they're happening this week. You got the Oilers and you got the Seahawks. Man. Uh, sexy, sexy, wow. sexy. So both of you going with the Seahawks. Any other reasoning besides the jerseys? Nope. This is the second no, toughest just, one to pick besides the Saints. Colts. I think the Browns got a QB controversy, and it's not. Yeah, while it's not we were, a good thing. while it's we not were, not a good thing. Wow, don't interrupt me. It's not a good thing. While, <laughs> you said like five thousand. <laughs> while we were recording this, Deshaun Watson uh, has a strain in his sub scub sub, sub subscapularis muscle, which causes trainer Pete, which causes pain and weakness in the rotator cuff. Uh, how, what's your timetable on that? I don't have a clue. <laughs> Uh, the subscapularis is part of the rotator cuff. Yes. Have you seen it in baseball injuries? Uh, I I know the answer to this, but I want to know. I'm testing your trainer skills. See yeah, rotator see cuff. Yeah, see ya. Injuries are common. It's typically, in baseball. It's I a, you're asking if I personally have seen it. Well, yeah. No, so type personally. of injury in baseball normally causes pitchers to miss four to six weeks. Watson continues to work and regain strength and velocity in his shoulder and shorten it. So it doesn't sound like he's going to play this week. You see, uh. Brady Quinn bashing Deshaun Watson. What do you say? No. It was pretty good. It was just, he was basically just saying, like, all the doctors cleared him. Like, all the doctors oh. cleared him. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. He, was, he basically just said, like, this is why you don't guarantee contracts. You paid him $230 million and now he doesn't do anything. He could just he could just do whatever he wants. Doesn't have to play well. He got $230 million guaranteed to be a backup quarterback. <coughs> oh, God. Uh, Yeller. Is going with the Browns, and I think I saw Guido's going with the Browns oh, yeah. as well. Uh, this was a tough one. I just, I mean, just look at the jerseys, look at the logo. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's making it tough for me. But the matchup and my gut is telling me the Cleveland Browns are going to win this game. I'm actually like my guts. I got fire in my gut right now. I got fire. Ask. 
I got what? I was going to ask you. Yeah, I got fire in my gut. I like this matchup for the Browns. Yeah, it's tough because, I mean, you got P.J. Walker probably at quarterback, but even though they're 2 and They beat the Niners and they beat the Colts. They scored 39 on, or whatever on the Colts. Uh, I know the Colts don't have the best defense in the world, but they scored a lot of points and they found a way to win. So I guess we shouldn't doubt P.J. Walker, but I don't really have super high hopes for him in this game. But I just like the matchup. The Browns' defense is really good. You may look at last week against the Colts and say it's not good. They've been exposed. I think they, they, if you watch, there was a lot of plays. With, I mean, it was an offsides, and that the the secondary just thought the play was blown dead, and they stopped playing. There's there's players that kind of just watch other players make tackle. They were they were lazy last week, and they gave up on a lot of plays. I'm sure Jim Schwartz is going to chew their ass. I uh, chew their ass out, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right out, and uh, they're going to get back on track okay, there. But there it's a go. different matchup. It's not that Steichen offense. There's not a lot of RPO. There's nothing really special here. The Seahawks are pretty good running the football and pretty good throwing the football, but they're going to blitz the shit out of Geno. He's been turning the ball over a bit. He's been but a little, they got Jake Bobo. <laughs> they do have Jake Bobo, but they've been a little off. Um, Geno's been a little off. Uh, the Browns are still really, really good defense. And the Seahawks actually have been more of a defensive team these recent weeks. And their defense is improving because all the young, good young players. But uh, I still think you can move the ball on it. And, I, you know, I think the Browns do just enough to move the ball on them. And their defense wins this game. I like the matchup for them. But it is in Seattle. It is P.J. Walker. Bless you. Verona. And, uh, and they got the throwback. So I lost my train of thro- thought there. But did I lock this in as anything? No. No? Fuck. Lock Fuck. this in is Throwback upset of the week. My PJ Walker game of the week. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. No. <laughs> That's not cutting it. Throwback loss of the week because I took the Oilers who and I took the Dolphins. So the, this is the throwback loss. And I'm taking the the fourth team that's wearing their throwbooks throwback. So I'm gonna win three Who's this fourth team? Three throwback teams win, one lose. This is my throwback loss of the week right here, folks. That's a good one. Sorry it took me a second. Sorry. Yeah, who's doing it? Uh, Chiefs and Broncos. Well, okay. All right. We all picked against the Broncos last week, and they squeaked by. Do we do it again? Nope. No? Okay. I'm going to lock this in as my ass beating of the week. The Chiefs kind of clicked last week and figured it out, um, so they'll get going even more this time. Against, they probably should have beat the ass out of the Broncos last time, but they kind of left some points up off the field. Yeah, the Chiefs just played on Thursday night. Yeah, they just played on Thursday night. and uh, I'm going to lock this in as my they just played on Thursday night game of the week here. These schedule uh, makers don't know what they're doing. They gave six bye week teams last week and now no bye week teams this week. Then they got teams – they always got divisional teams playing. They play one week and then they play a different opponent next the next week. And then the week after that they play that same opponent again. Like, what are we doing? It's, it's okay, a little, Pete. It's, it's a little it's strange. Okay, what are we doing? It's okay, Pete. Who wants to see this again two weeks Two weeks later? Not even. Well, okay. Well, it's probably Chiefs fans. Sure. Right? It's an easy win. Should, they should have it. Okay. Ravens and Cardinals. I'm going to lock this in as this would be a total Ravens move just after last week to lose this game. But there's no way, right? There's no way of the week. So then I'm going to go with the Ravens. Taking, you know, Kyler Murray practiced last week. So he's, he, he didn't play. Is he going to play this week? That could make it interesting. You know, no tape. On, on the new this. Call of Duty's not out yet. Yeah, so, not quite I mean, it's yet. Good. So you got some time here. Uh, I don't think they're going to play him yet, though. But I'm not the injury guy. I can't predict what, the, what they're – thinking is there um you're not a twitter doc i'm gonna here. take the ravens either way but everyone getting hyped in the ravens as they should but it'd be Those kind ravens of ravens are sneaky maybe uh it'd be a total move, ravens move to like just kind of be a little sketch a little sauce in this game but they're, they they should be fine there's really no reason for it they should be fine here they're 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 getting going lamar's looking good give yeah. us all the ravens yep yep do it up do it up i would kind of want to see Kyler murray play to be honest i do too what if he just played and just diced up the Ravens? Just diced, diced them right them. up and then went home and played Call of Duty. All night long. All, All night, night long. long. Got played the tractor early. Simula- farmer simulator. You see AJ Dillon? Yeah. AJ Dillon on that? How do you play that game? Like, how how, like how do you, you sit there? farm. Yeah, how was that fun? I'm going to download it. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. I will. Uh, next, we got Ooh. the Bengals. We got the Niners. I'm locking this in as my Niners aren't losing three in a row game of the week but this is tough though i'm gonna take the niners as you can tell 
But this is tough because Joey B off the bye week. Yeah, the the Healthy. Niners just played a tough one on Monday Night Football. They probably I think they played maybe the best team in football on that mo- Monday night. Uh, to, I guess give or take. Uh, give or take. But um, th- they just played on Monday night. They're a little beat up. And the Bengals just got a fresh break, and this is about that time the Bengals start to heat up, start to beat some good teams. So it's a tough – it's tough for the Niners. It's tough. But uh, I like the matchup for them. You know, the Bengals have been a little sus. I do – I still do think they'll figure it out, and the Bengals will figure it out. Uh, but this is a tough matchup for right now while they're in the process of figuring it out. They didn't figure it out yet because I think a big – a massive reason – that the Vikings beat the Niners. The Vikings' offensive line played very well, and they locked down a really good pass rush. I'm not trusting the Bengals' offensive line to do that. So that makes uh, alone makes the Niners a much better football team. The Bengals' defense is very solid. It doesn't look as good as it was in the past. Uh, and the Niners' offense is very, you know, they're pissed off. They lost two in a row. I think McCaffrey has a really good game. Uh, Ayuk seems to always be open. They'll get him going. Uh, the Vikings figure out a way to stop him in the second half. I think it was more on Purdy. Uh, so I, I, I like the I like the Niners. I like the matchup for them. Uh, but I still think the Bengals will figure it out at some point. And this is tough for the Niners. Again, Bengals bye week. Niners just played the best team in football on Monday night. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited for this one. I think this is game of the week right here. Really it's excited. Gonna... I think I, I feel you're like, taking the Bengals. I feel like I've been taking. I've been like taking in consideration like rest time so much this year because it's always played a, a role. But like I feel like I've been wrong on so many of these games. Like I've like last week I was gonna take the Ravens and also I remembered the Ravens are coming back from London. I was like, oh, Lions are. I was like, the Lions are due for a loss. I like the Ravens in this matchup. And I was like, but the Ravens are coming back from London. I'm taking the taking the Lions and. It, you know, it didn't bit it your back, ass. It backfired. Jim yeah. Schwartz is going to have to eat your ass. It, yeah, it backfired. So, you know what? <laughs> I would take the Bengals because of my logic, but I'm going to take the Niners. I don't see them losing three in a row. I like them at home here, uh, especially playing, you know, in a later game here in Cincinnati going west coast. I like it. This is so tough. And Not the fun. Niners run a West Coast offense. Too. Ooh. West Coast. Okay. I can't. I just connected the dots for you. Yeah, but like three games in a row is so tough. But the bye week, mm. you know what? I'm I'm taking the Bengals here. You're taking go. the Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals. I think they do drop three in a row here. The Bengals off the Who's, bye is exactly what they needed. Who's Guido going with? He's got the Bengals too. Who? Oh, Yeller deciding factor. He's got the Niners. He's got the Ooh. Niners. I like it though. That's the one you got to take, Junior. That's the one. Yeah, I think so. That's a good. That's a risky one. Or not? That's the not uh, as risky. Yeah, yeah, that's a it's a smart one. That you're is. either gonna be like back in business, or you're gonna be just so far in last place. Yep. You're not gonna want to show yourself. And you know what always happens with again. these though? It's always like you win some and you lose some. Like you're gonna lose some of those lone dogs. You're gonna win. I'm some winning of them. all of them this week, undefeated. Okay. Do you well, have okay. any lone dogs this week? No. No. <laughs> I don't. Well, we'll see. There's still a couple games left. It's what. Sunday, oh, oh shit! Sunday night football, the Bears See, this is where in you, this Tyson. Is, this is where you lose one. <laughs> Bajent yeah. heading to LA in the struggling Herbert Chargers. They're struggling. Herbert's not looking like Herbert right now. Bajent might be better. Who knows? I'm kidding. But um, Bears looked pretty good last week. I say their defense is playing pretty well too. They played very well last week. Yeah, it was against Hoyer, but they played very well against the Vikings. I thought maybe the Vikings' offense was stinky without Jefferson, but the Vikings just tore up the Niners' defense. So it just might mean the Bears' defense is the greatest of all time. I don't know. Maybe we can go Probably, with that. Yeah. Uh, but you know, maybe Eber because Eberflus being a good defensive mind, and you're kind of sitting there wondering, even though they were they were lacking talent, but like where is this Eberflus defense? But maybe it's starting to click here, and maybe they just instead of the f- firing him like fans want, maybe they just extend him f- for the rest. Of eternity, I don't know. Uh, That's wild. <laughs> uh, what would that money look like? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Give me and Dan are taking the Bears here. You and Dan. Dan. Yep. Okay. Where's that Dan guy? Put him over there. Yep. Worked out for you guys last week. There it is. Uh, yeah. The Chargers don't look right. I'm kind of getting cold on them, but uh, home on Sunday night against the Bears, undrafted rookie. Give me. The Chargers. Yeah, give me the Chargers. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. In the this tape's one, out now. Tape's Sorry, out. Sorry, Junior. Now here's a guy. Here's, here's a, a guy. guy. Yeah, you get a little bit of that. Here's a guy, Can't Tyson Bajan. He's got a lot of tattoos. When he when he's in the locker room with his shirt off, I was a little surprised how many was he tattoos. Doing, was he doing like the Johnny Manziel thing like crazy? No, no, he that? was like. Oh, he's doing this? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, he's a huge Johnny football guy. Looks like he might be. I he, can't wait for them to talk about his dad being a pro arm wrestler again. Yeah, that's what they were talking about. Did I lock this in as anything? No. My 
well, I'm locking this in as my Tyson Bajant first loss of the week. Mm. First loss of his career. <laughs> if he goes in and beats the Chargers, then he's just so officially he's better than – Yeah, he's yeah, officially he's better than Justin Fields then. Okay. How many wins does Justin Fields have as a starter? It's like they're probably close. <laughs> and he just started his first game. This is what this is where I'm at. I think that Justin Fields beats the Raiders last week. I didn't want to see I want to see I mean Bajan's not the guy of the future, but I mean He's your guy. I'll take him now. Uh Guido. Chargers. Yeller. Bolt, bolt up. Bolt up. Does Yeller have a take? I think he took the Bears. <laughs> Only if Fields plays. He you know what his like you that. know what his take is. Ass beating. It didn't say of the week. It just said ass beating. Wow. So there you have it. Junior and Dan by themselves. Yeah, it seems like it's the, the trend here. The trend. It's uh, worked for you last week, but I think it's working for the rest of us a little bit better. I don't know, mm-hmm. but we'll see what happens this week. You know, maybe we start jumping on after if they win well, this happened, week. It's worked for me twice. Monday, Monday night, night football. I'm those gonna, really throwbacks, though? I don't know what they are. It's, just, uh, it's a throwback just, logo, and let me tell you, that's the shittiest logo. Yeah, of, it's so the, stupid. The, the lion's so I like skinny. The, I like the blue, like, helmet, but I don't like the logo. I'm going to lock this in as my shitty throwback logo of the week. Uh, no, I'm going to lock this in as my snot pounding of the week uh <laughs> okay. it's gonna be an absolute snot pounding the lions are pissed off they just got the snot pounded out of them by the ravens but the lions play bad teams well and they are a good football team they're gonna pound the snot out of the raiders in this one i don't know if grapple's playing or not it doesn't even matter the raiders kind of disguised themselves as a, a decent defense and then tyson bajant went and ripped them up i knew the raiders defense wasn't gonna be good this year people got a little fooled by some other games the lions are gonna pound the snot out of that defense okay i think dan campbell's had enough Dan, you see Dan Campbell stick his finger in his ear and then sniff it? No. <laughs> oh, of course he did. Press conference. He's like going like this forever. Then he then he puts it down and he goes and he goes like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the lines because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Jones. This guy's a psychopath. Marvin Jones had to step away and also they released him. Like just no, just just. Dan Campbell, you know, if you're gonna quit, like get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, just <laughs> no sympathy. Just. Get out of here. I think he retired because he stuff. saw had, that his head coach sniffed his earwax. Maybe. Maybe he's biting kneecaps during this week of practice. I don't know. Yeah. I think the Lions players might be out there biting kneecaps this week. I'm taking the I'm taking the Lions here. Yeah. They need it. Snot pounding or ass beating? Snot pounding. I like the snot <laughs> It should be a good old-fashioned snot pounding. I don't know. Uh, Everyone else has got the Lions, too. Old Yeller's got it as his snot pounding of the week. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> he actually said ass beating. It's the last game he said ass beating, and this game was ass beating of the week. <laughs> Snap pounding of so the week. So we do squeaker of the week, ass beating of the week. Well, I had everything of the week this week, but then there's, there's, it's different. Ass beat, there's ass beating, and then there's snot pounding. Snot <laughs> pounding more? I guess. It doesn't really sound it, like you it. you got to say it in a southern accent. They're gonna, the, Ra- the, the Raiders are going to head to Detroit, but the Lions are going to pound the snot out. I can't even do the, the accent right <laughs> yeah, now. I don't know what that was. <laughs> That was not a Southern accent. I was doing it earlier because I'm getting that from the Paul Feinbaum <laughs> show where the, they have people call in, and somebody called. They talk college football, and somebody called in and was like, "Yeah, Missouri's coach is uh, he's the he's a young Nick he's Saban. a young Nick Saban. He, like, we're really excited. We're looking really good about Missouri. You know, Missouri's looking really good. We're excited about him." And then Paul Feinbaum hangs up the phone. He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Okay, next Nick Saban." He started to laugh a little bit, and then some lady comes on the. And right, this is uh, so and so. From Arkansas, and then it's just some, the lady gets on the phone. She's like, uh, "Yeah, I don't know what that what, what that lady from Mizzou was smoking. When the Razorbacks come to town, we're gonna pound the snot out of them." <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, snot pounding. Like we're gonna pound the absolute snot out of them. Pound the snot. All right, so there you have it. Snot pounding of the week. Lions win. We're not done yet, folks. You thought. You thought that there was no buy teams, these idiots. No these buy idiots. teams. They thought we were done after 16 games. But no. Let's take a look at the NFC playoff standings. No, that's here. not what oh. we're doing. That's not what we got. By playoffpredictors.com. So Pete's been having his buy teams of the week. So there's no buy teams. So what we came up with a pigs. You got a lot of work to do here. Pigskin Pete's contender tiers. We threw up 12. <laughs> <laughs> We threw up 12 of the best football teams. I apologize if your team's not in here. Uh, the graphics guy forgot the Vikings. Uh, Wait, what did Pete see? Uh, uh, chicken tenders. Yeah, yeah. So you have your t- – got to put up these logos Oh, here. man. So you have these tiers, Pete. So this isn't like 
I mean, it's your, it's your, it's just like your buy team tiers. It's my it's, show. It's here. your show. Take it, it away, Pete. No, no, it could be whatever you want, but here's your tiers. You have your Pete's, your Pete's Super Bowl favorites. All right, so the best of the best. You're thinking these teams. You can put your, you can put the two teams you think's going to the Super Bowl in there, or you can put multiple teams. You can think, all right, this team has a very, very good shot as well. And then you have Super Bowl contenders, teams that are like you don't want to put them in your favorite, but I can see them winning. Then you got your playoff wins contenders. It's teams that you that you feel they can. They they're going to win at least one game. They can they can win maybe more than one. Maybe it's just one. Then you got chicken tenders. All right, chicken tenders, and then you got pretenders. And the chicken tenders is kind of in between the two. Like can win playoff games or they're just you know pretenders. Pretenders could be teams that you know maybe there's a team on here you think like they're not even going to make the playoffs or they can make the playoffs but maybe they're just you know frauds that will make the playoffs. They can't really do much damage in the play. You know, pretenders slash frauds here. But really, it's whatever you want them to be here. This so good. so good I thought there was twelve teams that. Really stood that really stood out here. Of course, other teams could surprise, and other teams can make the playoffs. Of course, uh, but these are the twelve that uh, the graphics guy thought made the most sense. Uh, so let's get the two obvious pretenders out of the way. Pretenders, here. pretenders. Give it. Get the Browns down there, and get the Seahawks down there. The Browns are pretenders, and they guess what? They play each other this week. Yeah, that's a battle of the pretenders right there. Why are they pretenders? Um, like I said, the Browns got a QB controversy. I don't think they could, they can't just, you can't just go in the playoffs and win with, without a quarterback. Uh, and I, I'm mean, Geno Smith right now do like him, but I think a little sauce. I think it's showing right now, like why he was a backup for so long. I don't think he's, he's a, he's the guy that could elevate you in the playoffs to win games. I don't, know if they, I don't know if they could, I mean, the NFC still a little open up in the air. Right. But. I don't. I mean, I don't know if they make the playoffs even. Whoa! Fun fact for you. Originally, Chicken Tenders was under Pretenders. I'm like, wait, Chicken Tenders are pretty good. Like they're kind of good, so they got to be ahead of Pretenders. Did you so. guys see that? Who it was? Uh, oh, I, I think it was Post Malone. Was it Post Malone? Oh yeah, he has his own. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Uh, he opened Cades up his own Raisin Cades in Dallas, Texas. Cowboys, oh, Cowboys know, theme. Yep. I'm gonna put those cowboys in the chicken tenders. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> okay. In the good. chicken tenders. This here. is why. This is why Pete <laughs> runs this show. Now that's why me and Junior don't do uh, it. I crack right. myself up. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. We we talked about the cowboys being a little suspect. Uh, no, we're back sus. to that. Back to that though. Uh, is that like the top tier chicken tenders at Raisin Cane's? In the. You know what? Yeah, they are top tier. You know what else though? The Cowboys always get to the playoffs, and they always choke. They always they so can't win. Chicken they can't win a game. <laughs> but that sounds like pretenders. But me. like playoff wins contenders. There's so there's playoff wins contenders, and then there's pretenders. With the, what's in the middle there? It's like chicken. All right, tenders. All, right all right. But what what would you consider the Vikings last year? Like, I think the Vikings were playoff wins contenders last year. Yeah. But I think most people would pro- well, probably after were, the people facts. were up. People were surprised that they lost to the Giants. I think. Okay. Okay. So I was gonna. Say the Vikings, maybe. I thought you were going to say the Vikings were pretenders. They ended up, after they lose the Giants, technically they're pretenders. The Cowboys are just chicken tenders. Uh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. You have Fair. a good argument. See? Yep. You have See good, what I got? Who, you got? Who you got next? All right. That's all I got so far. Uh, now everything's on the fly, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, There's a couple you can throw at the top there, Pete. The couple? I mean, there, there only He's should be two. That for last. Only should be you two, don't have right? to be two. Maybe you want to throw? Maybe I think there only should be two up there because they're Super Bowl because they're Super Bowl contenders and they're Super Bowl favorites. Like who are the Super Bowl favorites? Who are the two teams that are the the favorites to be? So the Super who are you Bowl? predicting to go to the Super Bowl? You want to say it for last? Ooh, you should want I say, to do it now? Just say it for last. It's your show, it man. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. I've had the Niners in there all along as they were my they were Wait, my preseason you, pick. It was Niners Bengals was my don't, preseason. Don't pick. don't pick the Vikings because they're not up there. We're yeah, not picking the Vikings. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the Eagles, though. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. I'm going to go Eagles and Chiefs up as my Super Bowl oh, favorite. So man. exciting. Super exciting. Wow. But just if the, whole- the Niners could be – they could be healthy. Like, they're just not healthy. If they could be healthy, I think they'll be taking over that spot up there. I'm going to put the Niners in that Super Bowl contender spot here. If Moving fast for – Did the Eagles guy. getting Kevin Byard have anything to do oh, with that? Oh, for sure. For okay. sure. Okay. Just the way they're playing, just the way they're using uh, another Titans player, A.J. Brown. Uh, he's just been dominant. Uh, it's just been been fun to watch. Uh, ooh, what do we got left? How many teams do I got left here? We took six. We have six left here. 
Uh, you want to go with the Dolphins next? Ooh. This is tough now. I think the Dolphins are in that Super Bowl contenders range too. They haven't beat a good team yet. They haven't, but I just think with the coach that they have that's been there before, uh, the talent they have, the ability to put up points, they have talent on defense too. I think they're Super Bowl contenders. Wow. I didn't think you were going to do that. I didn't, yeah. th- I didn't think you were going to do it. No one's going to be in the – ooh, actually, let's see. Who else do I have left here? I'm trying to look. Ravens. Bills, Bills Jags, Ravens, Lions. Ooh. I guess taking, it shouldn't be double taking, logo. I guess you should be just pulling them from. I don't know if you could fit it here. Ugh. This might be surprising. I'm going to put all the other teams. Don't do that. Why? you got to go one by one. Oh. You're putting all the other teams in the same spot? In the playoff win contender spot? I am. Well, I that just, was boring. It was boring? <laughs> you got to make it. Now, now I got to sp- – Go, all right, oh, actually, gotta, you know what? Hold on. I, I forgot the Bengals were there. I'm at, uh No, I can't do it. I want to put them in Super Bowl contenders, but I can't do it. Why? Just because of how they've It's how not they've about played. how they look, though. It's just I predictions. Know, it's predictions. It, it is predictions. I, uh, the defense has just not been the same, and Burrow has not been the same yet. I think he could get there. But they just haven't they haven't they haven't lived up to my expectations yet. I think they're just in that playoff wins contender. I think the Bills are in that same kind of boat. Just have some some meatball days out there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and they always choke in the. They're kind of one of the teams that choke in the, the playoffs Jags too. The Jags are so hot. The Jags right now. are hot right now. They are hot. I just don't know if I could trust them. Uh, well, it's also yet. hot. Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders are hot. And you got the lion. Fit. You got the lions right here too. The lions are in that playoff wins contender after you know losing to a. A Ravens team. Oh, actually, we got a lot of teams. The Ravens going there too. Man, I guess the graphics guy shouldn't have put the like duplicate logos here. You know what? Get the Ravens up there in Super Bowl yep. contenders. I'm wow. feeling. I like it. I'm feeling the Ravens. I like the offense. I like what what uh, Munkin's doing with them. Like it's fun to watch. Like it's fun to watch Lamar spread the ball around and actually show that he can throw the ball because he can. And then when he extends plays with his legs, it's just how, how do you stop it? How do you stop? How do you stop the Ravens' offense? All they need, all they need, is Derrick Henry. If they if they go and trade for Derrick Henry, I'm I think the Ravens could go and win the Super Bowl. Like I think they'd just be they'd be a complete team. Wow. They should do it. They should do it. I just think it, they would just be un, unreal because like they still want to pound the football at times and like Gus Edwards is is okay. He's not going to get the job done, but they have Derrick Henry back there with Lamar Jackson. Man. All right, okay, well, one last question. Are there any teams that we did not talk about that maybe we, you know, maybe we'll be talking about them in, like, this type of situation at one point this year? Or maybe we should be. Or maybe they'll be ahead of the Brown Seahawks. And why are they the Vikings? And why are they the Vikings? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what he's, that's what he's looking for. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, Everything I said about the Vikings during this video is a joke. There are fans like that. Once they win one game, they think they're winning the Super Bowl. I'm just being funny. Uh, I mean, I think the Vikings, I don't know where I would put them, but. What if the Texans just keep improving and keep. keep yeah, it could be a sneaky team, but. That's who I was thinking. I think the Vikings could, should be in there over the Seahawks and Browns. I don't They'd think. They'd be in chicken tenders? I don't agree. You think they're just chicken tenders? No, tenders? I, think they'd, I think they'd be maybe in the pretenders oh, thing, but I, think, but I would rank them ahead of those two teams. I would not. I would not. I would. And I'm wearing the shirt and the chain. I would because they had a tough draw to start the year. Actually, they might be able to beat Seattle. They they turned the ball over so many times. They still did it. Yeah, they still did yesterday. But uh, they didn't. Even, they they won. They beat the Niners without Justin Jefferson. I mean, the defense showed out. The offense. Kirk Cousins looked really good. Everyone talks about Kirk Cousins. It's in one prime, game though. It's one look, game. Everyone talks about Kirk Cousins in prime time, but he. Balled out in prime time. I don't know. We only talk about that when he loses. Bro. I know. I like the Vikings more than those two teams. I'm trying to think of other teams off the top of my head. I like the Titans. I'm just kidding. Steelers? Not the Steelers. Uh, Rams if they start winning? Mm. Uh, maybe. You know who sh- the graphics guy fucked up? The graphics guy messed up big time. The Jets with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, yeah. The Jets with Aaron Rodgers. Where would yeah. you put them? We had never seen it. I'd put it playoff wins contenders. Okay. All right. Should have been 13 teams on here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Try to think who else. Uh, what if Will Levis is the next coming of Jesus Christ? Then where do you put the Titans? Oh, I mean, they would be and Super they, Bowl. And they wear the Oilers jerseys every week Oof. in the playoffs. They wouldn't be as special, though. 
Right. Yeah, if they had a home and a road version of it. They, road do, they do need to get a road version. Just they imagine need. all white, the yeah. white helmet they with the white They can't win away, but that pants. would help them out, road dogs. Ooh. It might help them. That might be the answer. Might be the answer. All right, so that was fun. Pete, pig, pigskin Pete's contender. Is that, wild? Is that a little wild up there or no? Junior was liking it. You like the Ravens up I there? I do like the Ravens up there. I like the Ravens up there. Uh, the Ravens and Bengals, let's we'll see how the season finishes, but they could be kind of that, I that honestly wild didn't, card. I was pretty firm this year on the Eagles not being able to get back to Super Bowl or have a shot, but I didn't think they were going to get back. But tr- getting Kevin Byard did, One a, thing I'm gonna tell did you, enough though, for me to get him up there because they were lacking in that safety position. Diehard Titans fan. I love Kevin Byard. Like He's, he's going to go down as one of the all-time greats for the Titans as far as defensive players. Uh this year though he's been very underwhelming. Like he has he has zero pass breakups. He has zero picks and zero pass breakups. If you look at the stats, he's given up like the completion percentage against him. I don't know the exact number, but it's been pretty high. So like he is not he's lost a step in coverage. Like he's a good smart player. He's a good leader. He's reliable. He'll play in every game. He doesn't get hurt. Knock on wood. Uh but I mean obviously he's gonna have more talent up front with the Eagles compared to the Titans, but he's definitely taking a step back. Uh, he's definitely better than what they what He's going to play on the better roster. on the Eagles, though. He's def- I, know, I know. He's got more talent up front. The D-line's loaded for the Eagles. Uh, good corners. He's got good corners. He did not with the Titans. Did not with the Titans, so I agree with that, but he's definitely lost but lost a step a little bit. I try to narrow it down. Like I, A lot of people go, like, they throw, like, 50 teams and that can win the Super Bowl list every year. I kind of like try to really narrow it down. The Eagles, I think, were really good. Consider them Super Bowl contenders. I just did not see them winning the Super Bowl. I think they can make the Super Bowl, but getting Kevin Byer gives them that boost for me. I think they can be up there. My point is the Ravens, similar team, and they're really, really good. I just don't see them winning a Super Bowl, but if they get Derrick Henry, which you mentioned, that that could bomb, that could just be enough to get make them from a great team to if a Super I was Bowl them, team. I would, I'd be um, all in. Yeah, because... The running backs are playing okay right now, but they're they, they're not the best running backs in the world. So, um, just getting Henry with Lamar. I mean, they're just – Roquan's playing out of his mind. Uh, it seems like when they lose, they beat themselves. They're not really, like, outplayed in these yeah, losses. I mean, they, yeah. Like that – was it uh, Was it two weeks ago, like all those drops? Was that two weeks ago or maybe even more yeah. now? It was uh, the Steelers game, I think. Where yeah, they just were just dropping just left and right. Like, and that's not three games ago. They had two games no, they won. Yeah, real okay. Yeah, those three games ago. So that's that's not like that's nothing the Steelers are doing. That's just receivers playing poorly. So yeah, I mean, I, that's I think what I mean. I think team. I think just watching them against the Lions and watching their scheme, like they, I mean, they got some they got some good things going on offense. Like they scheme guys up open all day. Uh, they spread the ball around. So like you can't really you can't really try to pick someone to take away like you can't like like before you were focused on stopping the run with them and like in trying to slow down mark andrews now it's like they do so much they could run the ball they could throw it to all these different guys it's tough to game plan against plus you got to contain lamar jackson like you it's it's tough to do um yeah right now like i don't know if the, like the ravens are really good i don't know if they can win that super bowl but it, they're kind of getting up there for me if they make that addition like we talked about yeah um I think Clowney's playing really well right now, but is he going to hold up? They're going to need another pass rusher, I feel like. Let's just get the Nico Autry, too. Just give us – throw us a second and a third rounder for Henry. Oh, wow, you're Henry, asking for a lot. Henry and Autry, you can have them both. Go with a Super Bowl. And Pete's a Ravens fan. Ravens fan, then. Um, I think the Bengals will work their way up. I think the, your 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 tears here. I think the Bills would if they are healthy. I think them being beat up hurts them. I think the I would place the Jags higher. I would place the Jags in the next higher tier. Uh the Lions. I actually want to say the Lions lower. I don't know if they can hang with the you know they chicken can, tenders. They well. Let me finish. Let me finish. I would br- drop them lower initially because I don't know if they could beat good teams, of course, but. Uh, Chances are teams that are more tested, you know, more uh, experienced with the playoffs, they're going to be better than them. Uh, but then I really think about the NFC, and there's just not a whole lot, and there's all, there's a lot of teams they could beat. Like, so I guess you're probably right where they're at. Cowboys, uh, you made a really good point about the Raising Canes, so the Cowboys <laughs> and the Chicken Tenders make sense. The Browns I want to put higher because if Deshaun Watson can get healthy, I know he can play better. 
and I like their defense a lot. I put them in the chicken tenders. Seahawks, yeah, you're probably right with that one. But I do no, that's tough though because their defense went from just god awful to like it's getting better. Is it going to continue to get better? Because they got some young stars on their team. So they do. But Nwosu just went down for the year. That's yeah. tough too. So maybe they have to trade for someone. We'll see. Uh, and yeah, I, mean, I just wish they would. Uh, I don't even know if it's really their coaching. But, I, I mean, I wish they would just get Jackson Smith and Jigba more involved in the offense. I don't know if that's a Geno problem, if that's coaching problem, but I don't know. I feel like they we talked about them winning the offseason. Like, they had such a great draft, and they did a great job uh, just all around the offseason free agency-wise too. But I don't know. It's just a little disappointing. I thought they'd be – I thought they'd be – thought the Niners would win that division, but I thought the Seahawks would be a top wild card team. I mean, I think they actually are they right now, mm-hmm. considered. Uh, but it just doesn't feel like it. doesn't really feel like they ha- they haven't really beaten anyone good. The Lions. They beat the Lions. They did beat the Lions in overtime, right? Uh, I don't know. Just, just not feeling them right now. Okay. And I think that'll wrap it up. Good job, guys. Good job, everyone. That was uh, week eight. Pickums. We'll be back next week, the week nine pickums, and then ten after that, eleven. You guys get the drill. We got loads of NFL content. We got trade deadline videos, more to come. It's right around the corner. We got a recent mock draft. We got you guys covered. So hopefully you can join us. Like, subscribe, turn notifications on, follow us on Twitter. Very important. Any link you're looking for, pin in the comments. That's gonna that's gonna do it. Anybody got any teletubby takes of the week? No, not this week. Not no. this week. No, no teletubby news. Nothing. Just wait for next week. Yep. Nate, wait for next week. All right. Um, I think we let him down on the outro this week. It's usually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I've been having. Never mind. Just go ahead. No, I shouldn't say it. Go, just I go ahead. You have to say it now. I've been having bloody diarrhea. Oh.